In Lesson 5, we're continuing with form formatting. In the last lesson, I mentioned something called themes. You can find themes on the Design tab right here in the Themes section. Now, a theme is a collection of colors and fonts that are packaged together to give your forms and reports a uniform look and feel. You can change the theme by dropping down this little box here. And you can preview the theme just by hovering over it. There's Office, for example, Adjacency. And you can see on the form a preview of what the new font and font color is going to look like. See? Angles, apex, and so on. So pick one that you like. And I'll pick, um, we'll go with Aspect. Now notice how the font is larger, so some of my labels don't display properly. That you'd have to fix. Notice the color of the hyperlinks changed to green. So I'm not too happy with this theme. Let's pick a different one. I'll come up here and pick... Let's go with Office. That looks better. Now notice the background color of my form didn't change. That's because I picked a standard color not a theme color. That's the difference. A theme color will change depending on which theme you pick. The same thing with the background color for the customer ID. I picked a gray standard color. All right, so let's click on the background of the form again. Go back to Format. Drop this down. And this time, let's pick from one of the theme colors up here. Let's go with the light purple. Okay? Now, watch what happens when we change the theme. I'll go back to design, drop down my themes, and look what happens when I preview different themes. They all have different background colors. See that? Each theme is different. So again, find one that you like and select that one. I'll go back to office. Now, me personally, I almost never use themes myself. I have to be completely honest. I have so many different forms in most of my databases that I give each one a unique look. But if you like to make sure that everything is uniform and looks pretty much the same, feel free to use the themes. I use themes a lot more in Word than I do in Access. All right, for now, I'm going to go back to Format and change that background color back to a powder blue. That looks better. Here's another one of my form formatting tricks. I like to make notes fields look like little yellow pieces of sticky paper. So click on your notes field. I'm going to change the background color to a light yellow. Now, notice there's only like a really bold, solid yellow here. You don't have to stick to the colors that are on this color palette. If you slide right down here, you see where it says more colors. Go ahead and click on more colors. This brings up the full custom colors palette, and you can use this to select the color or click on standard to pick from any of the standardized colors. Now, I usually find the standard colors are plenty for me, but if you want to go into even more depth, you can use the custom colors. I'm going to go back to standard, though. I want yellow, but I don't want super bright yellow. I want kind of like faded, washed out yellow, like that one right there. So click on the one that you want, and then click on OK, and that looks a lot better. We can also change the outline color of the notes field. Now, right up here, we've got shape outline. That's the color, width, and line style for the outline of the selected shape, the border, basically. So open up the shape outline. Again, you can see there's theme colors and standard colors. Let's change the border color to, how about bright red? I'll pick that one. Now, it's difficult to see that you've changed the border because the notes field is still selected. So I'll just click over here. And now it's deselected, and you can see the border color of the notes field has changed to red. There are also some settings for changing the thickness of the border and the style of the line. For example, you can click here, drop this down. You'll see there's an option for a transparent border, the more colors option, which we just looked at, line thickness, you can make the border thicker, line type, you can set the dots or dashes, so let's go line thickness, maybe uh, right about in the middle here. Now you can see the border is much thicker. 
I'll switch it back. Let's go dark blue. And not quite so thick. How about right there? That looks better. Now, if you're wondering, the shape fill that's up here for text boxes is pretty much the same as the background fill that we've seen earlier. Shape effects has to deal with special shapes like rectangles that we can add to our forms. We'll talk about that in a future lesson. These effects do not apply to simple labels and text boxes. There is one little special effect you can add to your notes fields, though. Watch this. Double click somewhere on the border of the notes object. Double click like right here. That opens up the property sheet. Now just about every object that you can put on your forms and the forms themselves have different properties associated with them. And we'll look at all these properties in detail in our future lessons. But for now, there's one property I want you to find. It's on the format tab. Come right down here where it says special effect. Right now it's set to flat. I want you to click in here, drop this down, and I want you to pick shadowed. There's different special effects you can put on text boxes. They used to be on the toolbar in older versions of Access, but Microsoft decided to hide this in Access 2007 and 10. So click on Shadowed. Now come up here and close the property sheet right there, and then click off the box so you can see it. See the little shadow behind the box? That's a text box special effect. There are a few other special effects in there as well. Feel free to play with them if you'd like. Now that you've got the special effect on, you can click on the notes field and change the color. Perhaps so, let's say you want to go with a dark gray. Now you have a dark gray shadow. And finally, sometimes, one of the nice touches that I like to add to my notes fields, I like to add a font that makes it look like a script writing, just because it's a notes field. So drop down your font box, and then come in here and find a font that looks like handwritten script. And there's usually several of them that come with Windows or Office. I'll go with um, I'll go with this one. That looks nice. Now my notes field looks like an actual handwritten piece of sticky paper. And if I flip back over to Form View, you can see what it looks like. And there's our form so far. I'll change back over to Design View. Don't forget to save your form often. I get in the habit when I'm working on form design of just hitting Control S on a regular basis. That saves my design changes. Remember, when you're working with your forms, you don't have to remember to save data because as you're typing data in, Access saves that every time you move from record to record. But it doesn't automatically save form changes. So I like to get in the habit of every time I make a major change, hit Control S on the keyboard, that saves my work to make sure I don't lose any information. There's nothing worse than spending an hour working on a form, getting all the fields lined up just right, and then all of a sudden something happens, your computer locks up or the power goes out, or any number of things that can cause you to lose the work. 